Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Today we've got another Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination video and we are looking in depth at Tattered Rose. So this is going to feature in both of our colour combinations so that you can take these combinations and use them at home. But we're also going to be looking at what colour actually is Tattered Rose, how does it look blended on cardstock and how does it compare to others in the Distress range. Now I'm using Oxide but this is completely relevant to inks as well. Everything I'm using, including the ink pads, the brushes, the um, distress colour chart here that I've got on my website, everything is linked down below so you can find that all there. The distress chart is completely free for you to download from my website but it doesn't come filled in, it actually comes in blank. You can fill it in then with the colours that you have at home so that you can see what you've got and what works nicely together. If you don't have this particular colour but you love the colour blends that I'm showing you, I'm going to show you which colours are similar in the range as well so you can kind of substitute those if you wish. So the first thing we need to do is of course blend Tattered Rose in to a piece of white cardstock and let's see what it's actually like. So it coincidentally actually matches really nicely with my background today um, but hopefully you can still see quite clearly. Now this is a nice new ink pad, or rather new re-inked ink pad, so I've got lots of lovely juicy colour there. Now I do find Tattered Rose is one similar to uh, Victorian Velvet uh, Milled Lavender Tumble Glass. There's a few of them that are very, very pale colours, um, and actually as soon as they get within a few months old, they're too dry, too pale to really ink nicely, so you need to ideally keep a re-inker. Um, aside for these particular colours just because they're so light so this is like I say a nice re-inked ink pad lots and lots of ink on there and it's a beautiful colour I really really love this colour it's kind of a coral peachy colour but it's got a hint, uh, quite a bit of pink in it and for this reason it actually sits within the pinks in the Distress Oxide range so let's bring my colour chart over and the pinks are on the first page so we have got here, as you can see, Tattered Rose. Now I've filled all of mine in with every colour because I have every colour now, but there was a time when I only had half of these, not even half of them, um, but it was still nice to be able to see at a glance everything I've got, how they actually blend onto white and what works together. So uh, when we're looking at pale colours, Spun Sugar is very similar, but definitely more towards the pink than the oranges. Um, but really nice to substitute this one and if you need if you're happy to go a little bit darker saltwater taffy works so well with this one we're getting towards the darker shades up here and definitely more pinks with Kitsch Flamingo and Picked Raspberry I am going to go through to the oranges though because uh, it kind of sits within an orange tone too but I think you can definitely once you compare them to the oranges you can see that pink hue in there dried marigold is nice and pale as is scattered straw Potentially you could actually substitute those ones I think if you wanted to have a go definitely let me know how you get on so let's Now do two color combinations. I've got one that is what I call um, a Tonal so we're going to go from light to dark sticking within the same sort of colors Rather than introducing any new colors. Let's just give my mat a wipe and we're going to go on to the same piece of cardstock that I just blended onto. We're going to go with Saltwater Taffy next to the Tattered Rose. And as you can see, much darker. But it just works. I think the, the colours, the undertones are so similar between the two that you get such a nice blend. So there is Tattered Rose into Saltwater Taffy. How quick was that? It took no blending time at all. It's beautiful. I'm just going to even off this edge here. Give this another wipe. And this is just a damp piece of kitchen towel. I've got one side damp, one side dry. It makes things much quicker for me to wipe my mat because we don't want the water or any liquid that we might put on here to clean it to then react without blending because, of course, distress oxides and distress inks are water reactive and you will get some really fun kind of distressed looks but it might not be what you want if you want perfectly smooth blending, blended backgrounds. Now we're going into Abandoned Coral. Now I've got my trusty piece of vellum here that I just pop to hold this still. And again, much, much darker, but you can see 
the colours are very similar in that you've got those peaches and you've got those pinks. We're definitely going more towards pinks now, I feel. So pop this all over the bottom. Now I'm always working in small circles when I'm blending. I like to have my blending brush really inked up when I first start blending and then I start applying less and less as I actually get to the blend line. And I usually come back to my last brush as well and use what's left on there to help blend that line in too. There we go. Isn't that just stunning? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, with these other colours, Saltwater Taffy and Abandoned Coral, we also have colour combination videos available for you to see, and they're going to be on the playlist, so you can see all the, I don't know, 60-something videos that we've done so far. We're working through alphabetically, so Tattered Rose, obviously, is near the end of the alphabet. We've only got a handful of videos left to do before we've finished this series, so make sure you go back and check out all your favourite colours and find fun combinations for them. But I've got another combination for you now so let's add in another color or another set of colors to the corals so for this one I'm really going quite different I'm actually introducing some blues I think these are going to work so nicely together as always I don't test these combinations out before I show you I kind of go by my color chart and um, Pinterest is absolutely amazing for finding colour combinations and then matching up what colours uh, are similar to the combinations on there in your distress range. But I just thought I'd like to go into a nice deep blue. I love, everyone knows I love Uncharted Mariner as a blue with a hint of green in it. So we'll see how we get on. Now that's the wrong brush. This is the Tattered Rose brush, which I'm yet to label because I did switch my brushes. I gave them all a good wash and had a good switch up. Okay, so we're going to put this one again on the end because it's pale. I tend to work, if I can, from pales into darks, working my way up through the strip. Now, when I'm doing a strip, I don't always work on strips. Sometimes this will be um, a circle. Sometimes it will be a full panel, full card background. Um, sometimes I'll actually use these colours just to smooch, just to spritz water on. Um, and add a little bit of colour to my background by pressing it into the cardstock that way. I don't always do blended strips, but this is the quickest and easiest way for me to show you how I um, blend my colours and what combinations I use. Okay, so Victorian Velvet. Now this is a darker version. This one really brings out the pink that's in Tattered Rose. You can see much darker, so I'm going to come back in with my Tattered Rose on my brush here and blend those two together. Nice, look at that. That is beautiful as well, isn't it? You can see how that colour, just by changing the colour it blends into, really does, this one makes it appear more of a cool tone and this one definitely more of a warm. Even side by side, it's the same colour, but they look so different. Okay, so then let's go into iced spruce now this one's interesting i don't know how this is going to work but i kind of thought do you know what muted tones victorian velvet ice spruce they've both got this sort of pastel frosted look about them so i think i'm going to be able to make these work although they are very different in that they are effectively a green and a red which we all know usually turns muddy goes into a kind of a brown so yeah, it'll be interesting to see the blend line between these two it's not looking so bad at the moment actually we are getting a little bit of that that sort of mix there but they have blended really quite nicely again so we're not always looking at the colors being quite similar but also if you're looking at the undertones being similar or the shades being similar that can help blend two colors together so then we're going into a pop of dark color which is our uncharted mariner which i'm quite excited about this one because i love this color so much i think if I had to choose one, one colour to only ever use again, I think it would have to be this. It would definitely have to be Uncharted Mariner. I would struggle without the other distress colours, but I think this is the one I couldn't live without. And it's a relatively new one. Now, I loved the distress range before Uncharted Mariner came out, 
um, but yeah once I got that in my hands and I tried it I thought oh I love this this is it this is the ink pad for me for life okay so let's just bring this ice spruce this is see these have blended nicely see now you couldn't easily blend uncharted mariner directly into tattered rose that just it just wouldn't work it's the two reasons they are completely different bases so this is kind of a warm base this is a cool base this is light this is dark this is going towards the red this is going towards the blue you know there's so many reasons they're just totally opposite colors you just couldn't blend them together but when you add the perfect what i call middleman colors when you find those middleman colors this is what you end up with isn't that just gorgeous now for me if this was a project this would be the blue on the bottom and it would be the light on the top i'd spritz a little bit of water as well and i'd probably stamp some white outline flowers on top i think that's how i'd make that work well i'm gonna have to do a card like that so stay tuned to my channel we'll see if that comes comes off but there's two completely different color combinations just to show you you can mix your colors or you can go completely tonal with your distress inks and oxides to create beautiful ombre backgrounds hopefully you found this helpful please do join me on the playlist for all the other colors that we've done so far if you've not done before i'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button just here and everything i'm using all my distress inks and oxides for example are available in this link just here at craft stash take care everybody i'll see you again very soon